Welcome to the coming apocalypse. Evangelist and pastor Paul Bagley will take you on a journey into the end times prophecy. He'll examine current world events and explain how they relate to the end times. For decades, Pastor Bagley has provided people all over the world with an understanding of today's world events from a biblical perspective. Now, here's your host, Pastor Paul Bagley. Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, this is messed up. It's just messed up. What? Uh, Get ready for a powerful broadcast. This is December 10th, Cosmic Pulse expected to hit today, and we have seen significant earthquakes in different locations around the world. We're also going to be monitoring to see what the space weather is showing us. And of course, it's been a weird day with the shootings that went on in New Jersey, the articles of impeachment on the president. Let's say right now we're going to use a Fair Use Act in good faith. This broadcast. This work contains fair use of copyrighted, non-copyright images with the public domain and the web for the non-commercial, non-profit, educational purposes only. This broadcast is free of charge. We're going to take a look at the current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And we're going to monitor all of this today. Uh, and also, let me put a shout out right now for Virtual Shield. That's Virtual Shield, www.virtualshield.com, backslash deals, backslash active, backslash Begley. Folks, with hundreds of millions of people may have had their text messages exposed online, according to researchers. A database, some of your text messages may have been left exposed on the internet for the whole world to see. A database housing millions of private SMS text messages was left open online for an extended period of time. A team of researchers at the online privacy company called VPN Mentor said that the Texas-based text messaging firm True Dialogue is thought to be responsible for the leak. The cybersecurity experts are saying the database contain access information to online medical services, along with passwords and usernames to websites such as Google and Facebook. Guys, you need to protect the fam from all the unnecessary spam. You need to protect your location, your IP address. It's time to get virtual shield dot com backslash deals backslash active backslash Begley code Paul Begley look let's just go there now virtual shield you go there and you right there put in your email address okay very easy to do very quick uh, and my son Paul Begley Jr. loves virtual shield he says it's wonderful then put in your create a password it goes right there and then of course you're going to confirm that password And that's going to get you in the system. Now you're setting up a a, uh, 30-day free trial. 30-day free trial. You're in. You put in your information. And next thing you know, you're rolling. And believe me, you need to protect your identity on the Internet. There's no question about it. You need a VPN that you can trust. Virtual Shield. Uh, You have a right to remain private. You really do. You have a right to uh, to actually to browse, uh, you know, browse the web safely and anonymously. And so what Virtual Shield has done, they have put together a program that when you buy one subscription, it covers 25 of your um, devices, whether it is the your PC on your desk or your laptop or your uh, iPad or your iPhones, uh, it just protects everything. And uh, look, go to virtualshield.com backslash deals backslash active backslash Begley. Once again, that's www.virtualshield.com backslash deals backslash active backslash Begley. The promo code is Paul Begley. Do that. Save, get the discount, get the first 30 days free. 
and be protected with virtual shield now guys let me just tell you something tonight it is december 10th and this is the uh, of course mike from around the world who will be with us on thursday night december 12th said today's the day that a cosmic pulse is coming to hit the earth have we already experienced it i don't know did it hit early is that what caused the explosion on White Island down there off the coast of New Zealand. Is it part of the 109,000 lightning strikes that hit New Zealand the day before that volcano erupted, killing what looks like about 30 some people and injuring 18? We don't know. But uh, that's the questions we're going to be asking Mike around the world. But we've had several earthquakes today. And if it's okay, I'd like to check the earthquake, earthquake map right now. I mean, they're still going off right now. For instance, we just had a 3.9 in Mexico. And before that, we just had a 4.8 in Greece, a 4.9 in Indonesia, a 5.1 in Vanuatu, a 4.7 over in China. It looks like earthquakes in divers places. But really, we were concerned. We had a 5.4 also again in Greece. 4.3 hit Turkey. 4.7 hit Turkey. Follow the little blue dot. And I'm just going to show you. But then, of course, Japan really got Heidi's attention right here. This happened right at the noon hour. 5.9 uh, hit Japan. Follow and very shallow. And then a 5.2 hit Japan 15 minutes later. And then an hour later, a 4.5 hit Japan. There was also several earthquakes today in Mexico. And so they were all over the place, including 3.0 Ridgecrest, California. But yeah, there was some shaking and quaking. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. But quickly, let me check something for you. Let's go to spaceweather.com because... What we found out is this, the winds are blowing on the sun now at 447 kilometers per second. Also tonight, and especially tomorrow night, you're gonna have the Venus-Saturn conjunction. This is a sign in the heavens. It's when the sun goes down tonight, if you step outside and look southwest, especially those of you on the West Coast about right now, Venus and Saturn are converging for a sunset conjunction. At the closest approach, it'll be tomorrow night when it will be less than two degrees. The brilliant Venus will pop out of the twilight first. 15 minutes later, Saturn will appear. Also, check this out, Brock. Unbelievable auroras. Insane auroras uh, are being... Uh, over Norway. Look at this. What? Insanity. Beautiful, but full of radiation. Radioactive. Radioactive. It turns the, the snow green. Uh, also, fireballs. We've had 16 of them breaking through the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, that's not too bad. We can live with that. And then asteroids. Oh, yeah, we got them. And uh, today, on December 10th, got one. Asteroid 2019 XW, that one is going to miss the Earth by 10.8. But folks, let me tell you what they're concerned about. December 20th, we've got a big one, but they're really worried about December 26th. Even though NASA says this one will miss us by uh, 19 lunar distance, about 4 million miles. Look how big it is. 372 meters in size. It is twice the size of the Empire State Building. What? Now, according to NASA, they're calling this a dangerous asteroid. And it is. It's mammoth. It would bring extinction to the Earth if it hit. It is a near-Earth asteroid, but it won't hit us. Okay, it will skim by, but I've seen asteroids a whole lot closer than this, but not this big. And what's really wild about this is, guys, this is about the same size as Apophis, Brock, but the, uh, this is asteroid 2000 CH59. Now, there you see the Empire State Building. 
This thing is twice the size of, of the, uh, is that right, of the Empire State Building? But not as tall as the um, tallest building in the world, which is that tower, I think, in Dubai. Not that tall, but almost. This thing is huge. Now, here's the point I want to say. Guys, that's the size of the asteroid called Apophis that is coming um, in nine years. That's going to be less than 18,000 miles from the surface of the Earth. How are we going to deal with that? Or are we? Let me just say this. NASA experts, they're expecting a massive asteroid to make its close approach to the Earth the day after Christmas. And that's the same day of the solar eclipse. What? The one that starts in Mecca. So we got signs in the heavens. And of course, Apophis is coming on Friday the 13th, April 13th, 2029. That is way more dangerous than anything we've ever encountered in as far as man has been recording. And then we're dealing with Planet X and Nibiru, Planet Number 9, the Dwarf Star, the Goblin. We're worried. We're concerned. We got the little green file. We got the, we got the scientific data. But this uh, huge rock that's coming uh, on the day after Christmas, the same day that this asteroid goes by is the Mecca solar eclipse, the day after Christmas. Signs in the heavens, guys. The earth is shaking and quaking. The devil's back is breaking. My mind is aching. We're not faking. It's an in somebody, I don't know. It, can anybody get any... Can anybody get any scrambled eggs and bacon? Guys, and then we're going to show you something in Antarctica. And Google Earth is camouflaging it. And Brock's going to show it to you. But first, let's get a song. Let everybody get in here. Uh, somebody better. Sh Lord, shelter us all in Psalms 91. Shelter me, Lord. Shelter me with your word. Are you serious? The earth can shake, the sky come down, the mountains all fall to the ground. But I will fear none of those things. Shelter me, Lord, underneath your wings. Dark waters rise, the thunder pounds, the wheels of war are going round. And all the walls are crumbling Shelter me, Lord, underneath your wings Shelter me, Lord, underneath your wings Hide me underneath your wings Hide me deep inside your heart In your refuge, cover And pour the deluge break, the tempest roar. But in that storm, my spirit sings. Shelter me, Lord, underneath your wings. Shelter me, Lord, underneath your wings. <laughs>
that day you call for me someday when time no more shall be and I say death where is your sting shelter me Lord underneath your wings shelter me Are you serious, folks? This asteroid is the size of biblical proportions. This thing is huge. Good news is it's going to be far enough away as it goes by. We should be safe. But NASA has put it high on their list. I am more focused, have always been focused on Apophis 99942. That's the uh, massive asteroid that will come within 18,000 miles of the surface of the earth but it's nine years away on friday the 13th uh, april the 13th 2029 that may bring about wormwood actually but let me read because anything can happen right now because we still got that debris field headed this way from planet x or nibiru and from the binary system plus you've got this issue called cosmic pulse tonight that's going on let me just read what it says in revelation chapter 8 for a moment the Bible said when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for the space of a half hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God. To them were given seven trumpets. Another angel came and stood at the altar, having the golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which is before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, 